G'day fellas, welcome to another video, Outback Mini Models, it's Clem again. What I've got for you today is a product review, okay? So what I've got here are some paintbrushes. This is the paintbrush set sent out to me by Scotty Taylor um, from SMS, the Scar Modeler Supply. Okay, I've already taken the brushes out of the packet just to make this video sort of run along, run a bit smoothly. Okay, so if we go to the pack back, okay, what it came in was a clear plastic resealable high quality plastic bag. So I've since um, ditched that in the bin um, just because it's just throughout the move. As you guys know, I've moved, I've moved the studio and we're in completely in a new place now up in North Queensland, which is sort of situate, situated about 40 minutes north of Mackay, um, sort of part of the Great Barrier Reef slash Cape Hillsborough area. And it's really, really nice out here. If you don't know where this is, look it up. I actually put a link down below. Um, probably like a YouTube video of this area. You're going to love it. Um, and we like it here. And also want to thank my partner, Heather Moore. Um, if you follow us on the Facebook page, Outback Mini Models, um, you would have heard like a lady's voice, female voice with American accent. Okay, that's my partner. She's also a model builder. So don't let that fill you that you no, know, she can't build. She's actually a very talented model builder um, and painter. So if you want to see more of Heather, Definitely comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up, and if you're not, if you're new to the channel, give the channel um, hit the subscribe button. Okay, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. Um, so, thanks, fellas, and thanks for all the support that you've been for being patient while this sort of in between sort of moving house. It's been about eight nine months since I've had all my stuff together. Okay, so we've got 100% of the studio back up with me again. Um, so. That's that part out of the way. Okay, so flicked on the. If we're gonna flick the card over, that the that's it there. If you flick the um, card over, so you can see these elastic things. That's where the paint brushes um, came in. They're sort of like like this all the way across in a plastic bag. So if you flick the cardboard over, it says um, Kalinsky Sable Brush Set. Okay, and there the sizes down there. So you can pause the video, just have a look, and if you want to pause the video, just have a read there. Um, it just talks about what the brushes are made from, what they're suitable for. So it's pretty much all sorts of modeling. Even if you're just like a fine, um, just an artist in general, you're just painting, you can use these. There's nothing stopping you from using these paint brushes if you know, you're just doing fine arts on a canvas or something like that. Set contains 10 brush paint brushes. And there's a website down below, www.scalemodeler.com.au. So if you want to sort of get your hands on them, Okay, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do some research once this video is uploaded. Okay, so because I am shooting this um, on my cell phone and I'm, I'm still tracking down a plug that goes from my phone that goes into my computer. So for me to transfer everything over. So what I'm going to do, um, by the time you see this video, hopefully give it about 10, 15 minutes after this video is uploaded, I'll I'll jump on the computer and I'll start searching on the links and I'll start throwing the links down below where you can get these paint brushes. Um, if you're in the States, I'll also put a link where you can get um, all the SMS stuff in the United States. And Australia, they're pretty much, it's it's pretty readily available now, um, this SMS stuff. So it's pretty, it's good stuff. I don't mind it. I mean, I really enjoy using it. So let's have a look okay so 10 brushes they all come with these plastic tube or protectors to stop the uh, bristles from bending all right so we're just going to grab a number one brush and then what we're going to do is today um, I haven't actually tested the the SMS Australian modern camo set okay I'm not sort of sure before I start playing with them because I haven't really had any um, Australian subjects to, to test these paints on but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an old model just a test like a test shell that I can sort of just spray anything on it okay and then give me a little bit to practice with this stuff because I still want to work out what kind of thinners I can use what works what don't work and then what I might do is I might just get do a video with all the generic stuff um, and we'll sort of do a video on that. So that's another video in itself, guys. I won't waffle on too much about that, but just keep your eyes out for these. These are still up for um, for review video. I've actually quite got a fair bit of stuff um, sitting to my left on the paint rack um, 
to review by SMS. So keep your eyes out for that. So definitely hit the notification button at the top of the uh, Outback Mini Models YouTube channel uh, to get notified when the new videos come out. So what we're going to be testing out today is we're going to be using the Model Master acrylic. Um, it's the red brown acrylic paint. And also we're going to be testing out the Mission Models uh, US Army Sand, okay? These are the, it, it doesn't really matter what numbers these are. These are just testing out. I'm not doing a paint review. I'm just sort of seeing how these brushes sort of work with these acrylic paints. Okay, and then our little our little gimp that we're going to be using is uh, old mate here, okay? It's sort of a very poor attempt at trying to paint a figure a uh, couple of years back. So he just sort of sits in the box now and he's going to be the paint gimp when it comes to um, testing whatever. So give it about six months, he's going to look like a complete mess. But there you go. <laughs> All right. So let me give these a shake. I've already given these a shake, guys, just pre-video before I started recording. But we're just going to give it another quick shake. Okay. And I'm not going to thin these out with anything. I'm just going to test these out straight because what I want to... What I want to see, show you guys, is how soft these bristles are. But what I am going to do is I'm just going to dip the paintbrush in some water just to freshen up the bristles a bit. A bit, sorry. Blah, blah. And then, so... Okay, gonna, so I've actually, because the paintbrush is already wet, I don't really need to thin this paint down. And this is neat straight out of the bottle. Alright, so we're just going to paint on here. And you can see it actually goes on really, really nice. Like when I first played with these paintbrushes, um, when when Scotty actually sent these out to me, oh, it would have to be like good four, three to four months now that I've had these. Three months, I'd say. I'm guessing. Um, oh yeah, there's a hear that little creaky, freaky noise at the back. That's your little stone coloured curlew. Um, actually, if you want, actually, guys, if you want a video, if you, if you want to see me do a video of the natural wildlife around this area, also comment down below. I mean, we've had everything from kangaroos, uh, there's kookaburras that hang around here, there's wallabies. Um, Heather actually walked outside this morning when I was at work and took some photos, and she sort of asked me, says, honey, do we have wombats around here? And I said, don't know. And the the feces, uh, wombat feces, is actually a cube shape. She'd done a Google search, and sure enough, it was wombat poo. So we've got a little resident wombat that's running around here outside the studio. Um, behind the house, there's a lot of bushland, and also if you go about 150 metres up the road, there's a beach, and you head a couple of kilometres out to sea. If that, there's a Great Barrier Reef. So... The wildlife, like the wildlife around here is insane, guys. Um, but like I said, if you want to see videos of what's around here, definitely comment saying yes, you want to see them, or now nah, stick to modelling, and we'll do that. So, all right, just give this brush a clean in the water, and I do this, put this cap back on this paint so I don't knock him over. All right, so so far so good. Um, no brush strokes. The so if you are a brush painter, you know you've got an airbrush, and you just want to paint your models. I mean, there is nothing wrong with that, guys. I mean, obviously, all everything down below it's being airbrushed and sort of dry brushed. It's just the way the model was, but everything on top of it now is really smooth. Okay, so let's have a look at the Mission Models paints. Mission Models do recommend using their thinners okay so let's have a look let's see how these paint brushes fare all right so I'm just going to use water all right so we're just going to put a drop this is the uh, US Army sand I bought these for the US um, modern US vehicles okay so give these a test one haven't really had much to do with these yet Still playing around with it, but um, everyone's saying they're really nice paints. But the SMS stuff is what I'm really interested in to see how it goes. So we're just going to give this a little brush around. 
and old mate, little curlew outside wants some food. Because we do hand feed all the animals here. They come up to the door and sort of beg for food. Alright, so... I'm just going to not really go too stupid with this. Alright, so... I'm pretty sure... That the the MM paints here have to be applied in some very light coats. Remember too, I'm only using a size one brush too, so it's not a. You can see how big the bristles are compared to. Oh, there's only one thirty fifth scale figure, so. Sorry about the lighting too guys, it's, I'm still sort of working, trying to work out the lighting. We're trying to, I want to put up a lighting gimbal that sits above the bench. But all that costs money and at the moment, and mainly time as well. I don't really have much time to do anything really, sort of work six days a week, come home. Actually come home from work by about maybe an hour ago and thought make a video. I've been putting it off for the last few couple of weeks it's because I've just been that tired with the move and everything so starting to settle settle in now. Alright. Alright. I mean I'm sort of rushing this guys. I'm like I'm not really taking my time. I'm sort of just showing you quickly how um, how nice the paint goes on. I mean, I mean that I put that on pretty thick. I haven't thinned that down with their thinners or anything. It's just sort of a bit of water and straight out of the bottle. So with a bit of with a bit of care, um, you can put, you definitely get a better um, a better finish on the model. Okay, and obviously we use a, a bigger brush. Okay, so we'll give we'll use this big boy here. This is a uh, size eight number eight brush. All right, so we're just gonna. Dip this one in water. Give it time. This is still a brand new brush. I haven't used this one yet, so it's still got the little sort of the protective hardener that sort of hardens up the bristles a bit a bit before you use them. So we're just gonna put that in there. Size eight brush, and we're just gonna go around his leg. What do I think? I think it's pretty good. All right, so dry it up a little bit. Just a bit more water. And what I might do is I might just sort of put another drop in down here. So you sort of get a, a smoother finish with a bigger brush. Um, it's I'm just sort of showing you. Okay, this is not a painting tutorial, guys, on how to paint a figure. Okay, this is definitely not a painting tutorial. Um, my figure painting actually is quite bad, so I'm not. Which is why you don't see me paint figures. You can see this poor effort here. Um, it was a bit of a warhammer painter back in the day. Like, well, well, I had a big break between scale modeling, so it sort of went, so I sort of got stuck into that a little bit. Um, but if you want to see any Warhammer stuff, definitely go check out um, Sean Moran's page, um, Orc Painter Nerd, very talented modeler. Um, he's actually having a go, sort of been, I, I follow his channel um, quite a bit, so, and he's actually giving a just scale modeling a, a crack so um, I'll also put the link down below if you haven't um, you sort of get into that sort of Warhammer stuff and you're interested um, what you can do with an airbrush on a figure is just amazing guys um, it's and is one of the most and I've had actually had an opportunity of talking with Sean on some video chats um, a while back and he's one of the most humble guys you'll you'll ever meet. Um, seriously, guys, it's he's definitely worth checking out. 
Um, I've learned a lot from him. It's a lot of my, um, the way I paint today is um, sort of picked up on how he, some of his videos that he painted, um, how he paints his models. Alright, so that's the, I mean, I don't know the light's probably sort of making things a, a bit sharp and a bit very, just very bright. I haven't got any filters on my lights, it's just raw LED lights pouring down on this bench. So, if I can bring this in a bit more, and hopefully, I mean, you can probably pause the video and just have a quick look. Um, I mean, it's pretty smooth, guys, for a, for a paintbrush. I mean, it's definitely, I mean, you can obviously get a better finish with an airbrush, but like I said earlier on, with a bit of care, and just sort of take your time, adjust your paints accordingly with thinners and retarders it all depends on where you live around the world i mean obviously here up in north queensland we need retarders because the paint just goes off so quick but being late afternoon now it's almost evening um probably looking around about 22 20 well probably about 23 24 degrees celsius so it's not that hot um it's probably hot if you live in the uk but over here it's not too bad so that's it guys um that's just a little quick look at the paint brushes um sent out to us by um scar Muller supply I do want to thank uh, Scotty for having us on board on the ambassador team for the Scar Modeler Supply uh, Modeling Company. Um, definitely, like I said, go click on the link down below once I sort of get this video sorted out. Um, click on the link down below and have a chat um, and see where you can get these done delivered to your door, depending on where you live. So, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget hit the like button. Give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next video. Um, this has been a paintbrush review for SMS uh, from Outback Mini Models. This has been Clem. Catch you later, guys. Have a good day. Bye.